Hey there everybody, Megabit Gamer here, and we are going to do a simple set of combination switches. Uh, the door here is just for example, uh, to give you an idea, but uh, you'll need some, uh, some levers. We're not going to put that right next to the door because it would actually actuate it without anything going on. Um, levers, blocks, redstone, and some torches, redstone torches. Um, what we'll do is, your combination is your blocks or lack of blocks. Your choice. So let's put one more in here. So basically what happens is when you have the torches up there, or well, the levers up, they're off. So we're going to just loop this over here and we're going to make this uh, always on. Now the always on will be reversed to always off when it's powered. So notice how these are going up and down, up and down, up and down. The redstone wire is actually powered by anything that is out of sequence. In other words, if you have them all up, it's going to be powered. If you have them all down, it's going to be powered. Uh, for example, look here. Even though I'm pushing them all down, the combination says that the ones that are without a torch are now on. The ones that with the torch are now off. So we're just going to flip all of the non-torches up. And what that will do is it will send the power back to the always on and make the door actuate open. So let's just flip these last couple. See, still powered. One more to go. And voila, the door is open. So if you guys like this video, uh, please subscribe. Uh, I challenge you to use it on multiple things. I use it on secret doors, uh, chests, exposures, anything you can think of. Thanks again, please subscribe.